Hey, what's up you guys? It's John the Artist, playing some more Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. We're looking pretty ridiculous, but uh, 453 is in my defense now. And if you get a meal, then we can get it even higher, because you can get defense up, plus 50 health, plus stamina 25. And then you can get one where more health recovery from items. So, I'll do that. Woo! We don't need to eat a lot today. We're fighting Valstrax, baby! Valstrax sounds like a cleaning thing. Oh my god, I can't breathe! Oh my sons! Oh, sorry about that. I was just reading this hilarious letter from one of the gals. She was such a bear of laughs. Okay, so, the Burning Gal had this idea for the eco-friendly campaign with the tagline, Pick up your litter. Seems innoxious, right? But the felines started to conquer counter campaign because they didn't like being picked up. Per leaves. Leave our kittens firmly grounded. Let's cut to the chase. I think someone's hungry for some quads. Be my guest. Oh, she's not talking about this anymore. It's like, oh my god, you're actually gonna do valve stacks? Are you crazy? Yep, I'm pretty crazy. Okay, oh my god. I think. Yeah, I already grabbed everything. I think we did. Okay, we already ate. I need to go. Let's not put this off any longer. Come on. Okay. Friend, it's time to settle things with Valstrax. Each and every one of us will be keeping a close eye on you from the Soratorium. Please win this thing and come back alive. Cutscene. What's the whole game look like? This, this, let's see. Whoa. I like his eyes. Dude, that's what he looks like up close. But don't mind me ruining everything. He's like a fucking jet. Oh my god. Is that gonna give me like a speed boost when I'm running around after I get the armor? Because I am gonna get the armor. Not today, obviously. They usually never give you any good after fighting them one time. I have a feeling I'm going to be fighting him a lot. Because this armor looks sick. Alright, so they put us in the middle of nowhere. That sucks. Probably need to go grab my map. I'm going to throw a thing out of his face. So we know where he's at. And then make sure that I only attack when I have a chance. I'm going to go grab the map because this is crazy. Go! Jump off the cliff! Yes, you'll be fine. No fall damage. Plus we need to take some things. Mega Dash Juice. Now I won't run out of stamina. And we got White Sharpness on the sword. And then with the food boost we have 468. That's not bad. I think I can handle that. The only other option would be fighting Kirin a million times until I have a full set of armor. And that's not working out. I've been fighting it a lot. And it doesn't give you anything. At least not all at once. Give this little hideaway here. Yeah, if you don't grab the map, you're screwed, because if you paintball him, it'll disappear in like 10 minutes. And if I don't know where the hell I'm going, then I won't even be able to follow him without a paintball at all. At least if you have the map, I can be like, well, he's probably in this area, but without it, I can't see the damn thing. So you gotta go out the map.
It sucks because there's no other items in there, but I brought like literally everything I have. Oh wait, this guy might have something. An old pickaxe. Yeah, real useful. Psycho serum. Okay, that's pretty good. First aid med. That'll be good too. Nothing better to do to give you stuff. Go on, get whatever. Look at the building, that's cool. Oh, shit. Okay, so where did he go? He's all the way over at area seven. Oh, shit. Walking down that way did not help me at all. I'm gonna climb on the wall. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Let's get this done. If you stay behind his legs, he can't really get you. I fought him in the demo. I, I, he doesn't seem like he's as tough as the demo. I think the demo is on G rank. <clears throat> and it's just made to make you fail because they only give you 25 minutes. And they don't let you pick any of your items. What they gave him was like glavinous armor, which is good probably what I would do, but I've maximum upgraded everything I have. So, I bet the Glamorous Armor they give you is only about 300, so you wouldn't stand a chance. I remember they're getting wiped out in like one hit. Now, look, if he hits me, I'll be fine. Even, even without blocking, but blocking, look, he didn't do shit. Standing here, what does he do? I don't know if I want to find out. Probably not very much. I've upgraded the shit out of this. Oh, we've already got a special. Boom! Oh, he blocked it. Okay, so it was about... A tiny bit. Yeah, that's not much. Not compared to what it would have been if I didn't get all that armor first. Well, we did like a somersault or something. Where'd he go? Where'd she go? I'm on the other side of the mountain. It's stupid. He's gonna do a dive bomb attack. Ah! No, he, wait. Yeah, he did. Oh shit, dude. Oh, I jumped up and grabbed it. Already in one hit? Damn. He's got strong armor. I have to sharpen my sword like three times a minute. Ow! Stop! No! Not the rockets! Holy shit! This guy's crazy! I got light powder, but I don't even have a second to use it. I think we better just go, 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 go. Oh man, it's not smart to try to do anything near him. If you're running out of stuff, just get out of there. Fix it, and then come back. It's like, it's too dangerous. You gotta sharpen. This is how I approach every fight, and I usually win, so... Knowing when to run is important.
That way you can get a good attack. He doesn't know what's going on. Stand there. Ah, rocket boosters. Wow. Castle Wall is good for extra defense. Now I can just hit up the one here and come up. Now he does nothing, bitch. He's staying here all day. Until the meter runs out. See? Whatever that was, didn't do shit. Right now, I'm invincible. But the thing wears off really fast. He took off again. What a loser. Ah, uh, he knows he's outmatched. Especially when I have... Lion's Moth in the Got me a bigger area. That's good. Get with me. We can jump on his back from off of this cliff. Is he got a different stage? He's turning all red now. Oh shit. I wanna be fire and the laser at me. That's a stupid crap play. Yeah, he's like Gormagala. Gormagala was fucking tough. But usually it took me the entire match to beat him. And now I can beat him with 15 minutes to spare. So I think I'll go to it. Gormagala guy was tough too. I'm guessing Balstrax has about 70 defense per armor piece, so he's, he's going to be tougher than Kieran for sure. If I'm wrong about that, then I overestimated it. I'm worried about it for nothing. Ah, oh, damn it, he didn't take off again. Bastard. Ah, oh, that's not cool. Paintball him again, so the bastard made it clear off. I don't really want to get that close to him. I have to, though. Okay, we need to go sharpen again. So happy that you can just leave the zone. These lead doesn't follow you. He's like the ending boss in, in high rank, so he might try and follow me, I don't know. But Okay. Oh damn it, I'm the thing right now. I need infinite stamina. Otherwise I can't run from him.
brimstone flowers too. This is an intimidation technique. Boom! Stand right in front of him. Because that move is unblockable. As long as he doesn't try and dodge it. Like, if he's standing there, he's going to get screwed. Just break his arms and legs, and he won't be able to fly away anymore. He won't be able to walk. He looks like an eagle. It's kind of cool. Ugh, he's so cheap, though. Jeez. Come on, dude. You really gotta fucking rock it on your back? Fight like a regular. Monster, please. This is crazy. Alright. This. Dodge that. Hit him in the face. Get him here. Stay down below. You can't see me. I know I'm supposed to hate him, but he's so cool. Oh, what a bitch. Finally left. I'm still alive. He's not as tough as I thought. Woo! We did it! Oh, that guy is an asshole. I almost ran out of time. Wow. I, la I ran out of every single item I had. The only thing that kept me alive was getting knocked out so I could have my health bar back. <laughs> and then I used a giant stamina potion. Woo! Dancing time! That's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. We're not done. This is the ending game cutscene. As well as it unlocked a whole bunch of stuff, now we can do G rank and the Palakos can level up higher and you get more armor, and more food, defense. Pretty sweet. Wow. <laughs>